good morning good afternoon good evening youtube welcome back to the channel and this is an exciting one here i'm doing an unboxing as you can tell by the title uh j fitzpatrick made to order shoes that i actually purchased october of last year even before i had even um thought about starting a youtube channel on this stuff and it is finally here so let's jump in and have a look so while i'm doing this uh, mto means made to order and there's some companies out there that you can purchase shoes that are made to order in other words you can you can specify certain things about the shoe and kind of personalize it to your liking and this particular shoe actually was was called a group made to order or gmto and what that means is before the shoe will be manufactured they try to get a group of people all uh a group of people in this case six people at least six to purchase the shoe before it goes to into manufacturing and so when you go to the website uh and he has a he currently has a, a gmto going on right now but when you go to the website um and you select it it'll show you like one of six have been sold two of six have been sold and you can get updated and what happens if if he doesn't get the six then you just get uh refunded uh your money or whatever uh but here we are this is the aurora aurora or aurora i don't know why i'm having a problem saying it aurora model style is one three five eight three the last is the JKF last, and the color is dark brown museum calf. But it is actually, of course, size D, size uh, 10D, US, 9E, UK, European 43. Okay, so nice red box. And I'm not a big fan of red, but it's all good. Let's get out of here. And as you can see, there's some red shoe bags that's one that's two okay so red shoe bags and they say j fitzpatrick on them let's open them up and i was i was uh when i received them i, I was sitting here thinking to myself oh man i forgot okay as you can see these are these are button shoes so um first ever pair of button shoes that i have owned um and it's a saddle style so you have a dark brown museum calf here and a dark brown suede saddle there and they're oxfords you can see the heel it's been um painted or or made to be dark brown a closed channel sole has some um toe tacks here brass brass nails there the heel partly rubber partly leather very beautiful shoes i'm so excited so let's take a look at them and So I was explaining the made to order program. So in the group made to order, he has a made to order program. So you can go on his website and look at any shoe that he's offering in the made to order. And it could be a, um, a you know, a wingtip for a bro, it could be loafers, it could be anything, but you can alter these color combinations to your liking, like I said, so it's made to order. Of course, there's an upcharge for that that kind of thing. I think he charges a, an extra 150 on top of the, the regular full price of the shoe. So on J Fitzpatrick website, he has uh, an array of just normal sole shoes out there, but you can really get into some nice customization, some nice uniqueness. If you go to his made to through his made to order program. So, uh, here you have it so we're going to try them on so i'll be able to unbutton but i won't be able to rebutton because 
um, what I was saying was when the shoes came in, I forgot that I needed a button to order a button hook. And when I when I thought about it and went back to his website, he was sold out. So I have to find a button hook to to get these uh, back together. Or I'm, I may be able to button them without it, but we'll see. So again, this is the Aurora model and dark brown museum, dark brown suede from J Fitzpatrick footwear. Gorgeous shoe. Now I said in uh, I think a couple of video videos ago that I'm probably not going to be buying any more shoes. Um, <laughs> yeah, right. So, <laughs> but these were bought way before, like I said, these were bought in October of last year. So I was just waiting on these to come in. But the, I did purchase another pair that will be here tomorrow and they will probably be close to, um, the last shoe that I purchased for a while because they are more than likely going to be the best shoe in my collection. Um, and if, if you saw my shoe collection, you didn't see one of the, what, what people would call, you know, a must have in a men's wardrobe is a black cap toe Oxford. And the reason I, had, I kind of held off on purchasing a black cap toe Oxford is because I really wanted something that was like super, super, super fine quality. And, I think I found that with the shoes that I will get tomorrow. So, so let me uh, pause the video here and let's get these on. Check them out. All right, guys, and we're back. And we have the J. Fitzpatrick Aurora model. Dark brown suede, dark brown museum cap. I'm not gonna talk about the fit yet. Uh, someone suggested that I do a video about how each shoe fits, and I'm gonna reserve that for the, 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 that video. But I can tell you, they fit very similar to another pair of shoes that I have, which I really like as well. Oh. So as you can see on the toe, it's sort of a, I think they call this an almond toe. Almond shape, nice little point, elongated. So, man, I like them. Easily, <laughs> probably, I'm gonna say my new favorite pair of shoes in the collection. Very nice. Very nice indeed. I was able to button them without a button hook, but it took a little, took a little bit of uh, maneuvering to do it. But got it done. So I'm gonna get find myself a button hook online or something. But there you have it, J. Fitzpatrick, Aurora model in dark brown museum calf, and a dark brown suede saddle. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the next video, which probably will be coming out tomorrow. Take care.